Okay, everybody, good evening, and welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Now, I've just been told that if we continue on with the story, okay, there may be some more elements that we'll actually unlock uh, in the open world city here. So what I'm thinking is, here's what we'll do. Let's do these two quick missions on the way. Then we'll go right to Kazuka's apartment, we'll advance the story, and we'll see what unlocks next and go from there, okay? Let's just do these two fast, since they're right here, might as well get them done. Oops. These are a lot faster, right? <clears throat> a lot faster than the ones you used to. You have to use the app to do it. Now you don't have to see the app anymore. Where's Ichiban? Ichiban is in Hawaii. We're not in Hawaii anymore. We are now uh, back in Japan with our second party. It's really interesting. The game has two different locations and two different parties that uh, you're a part of. I won't hold back. Ready for the knockout. Need a light? All these area of effect attacks. Okay. Oh, I didn't I didn't mean for him to do the barrel, but okay. Here we go. Oh, oh man, it's her new stuff. We never used her yet as an idol. She has two healing spells. Yeah, one magical voice. Recover you or your allies HP. High chance of charming an enemy and lowering their attack. Recover your allies HP to the group heal and smash step. Damage enemy with rapid attacks from the mic stick applying your weapon's attributes. Let's try this. Smash step. It's kind of like a choreographed dance move. <laughs> it really is. Shit. Oh, I have no, uh... Proximity bonus. I had no, uh, MP. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Follow my lead. Yeah. So this guy's got, like, super armor. We can't really push him around like other characters. Nice. What was my favorite Dragon Ball Z character? First, it was, uh, Piccolo. And then probably later on, like, Vegeta. Moving up in the world. Level up for Namba, we level up for, uh, Sei, Sei Jun, I forgot how to pronounce her name. And Sayako ranking up, cool. Very good. Alright, so it's one down, then we got one right over here, and then we're gonna advance the story. Here we go. I can't remember her name. <laughs> it's my turn. That guy's name is a twitchy streamer. Although he has like, a camera in his hand, so I don't know how he could be a streamer with a handheld camera. Yeah. He's weak, but. Eh. If he's weak to fire, I'm just gonna do a regular attack. Kill him that way. You're going to regret Nice combo. And a follow-up. Nice. Three people involved. He's an IRL streamer? Yeah, but not with a handheld camera like that. <laughs> if he was using a, a, a like a, a phone or something, I'd say okay, but that doesn't make sense. We're going to be a, an IRL streamer like that. Okay, she learned Playful Splash. I don't want to think of what might have happened if you hadn't helped. Thank you. All right. Ooh, level up. Soul has now hit level four. Okay, cool. So, Kiryu's Perfect Guard has now been enhanced in the Brawler style. Successfully performing a Perfect Guard against an enemy's melee attack with, will trigger a counter. Oh. However, against attacks that chip multiple times, you must perform Perfect Guard on the final hit. The timing is crucial. So, when he's in his Brawler style, which is his unique style, right... Then you can uh, you can counter moves. That's interesting. Right now we're still going with Desperado, but once we get to a high enough level, I probably will go back to his unique style and, and try to level it up more. What did I have for dinner? Uh, we had our baked chicken, our baked chicken thighs, breaded, green beans, and uh, some mashed potatoes. All right. Uh, 
guess we're sleeping. Not a scratch. Half empty drink restores five MP. Oh boy. All right, let's rest. Let's advance the plot. See if we can unlock more. Okay. Uh, Slayer pledges on Patreon go through immediately. So if you pledge right now, like literally, they will try to charge you right now for the pledge. Kiryu san. <laughs> All right, Kiryu san. If we're going to meet Sawashiro and Abino, we'll need to take a taxi. We're headed to the Siryu clan's branch office. I can show you the way. All right. So we're going to go to the... Oh, we're actually going to advance the story a bit. Let's do that. Let's advance the story a little bit tonight before we go back to side stuff. Because, man, is there a lot of side stuff to do, right? Look at this. Oh, my God. Like, there's an incredible amount of side stuff to do. But let's, let's advance the plot a little bit further. Right here. All right, so we're going to the Siryu Clan Tokyo branch. <sighs> I'm sure. I'm sure going to these these countries, you know, any Asian country, there's probably a huge language barrier. I'm sure many of the, the people there don't speak oh. English, you know. Is this where? The Siryu set up shop? Yep. It, it's certainly not like in this game where you go to Hawaii and everyone speaks Japanese for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure it's hard to swallow, seeing your clan's former headquarters like this. I guess it must have gone vacant after the Great Dissolution. Now here they are. So this is, you remember are. the Seiryu clan's uh, headquarters Ijinsho's for previous games? Big enough for them anymore. Totally. That's how fast the Seiryu clan's <laughs> growing. It's like they're quietly taking over. Hearing about it's one thing, but seeing it in person's another. Hear you, son? Unbelievable. It's a symbol of the Tojo clan falling into the hands of outsiders. To think I'd live to see the day. Let's go. Standing around won't get us any closer to the boys in charge. So they're gonna fight right out of the gates. Hear you, son. Maybe hang back for now. You get caught here, it's all over. Well, the same for Sunny, I suppose. Guess it's up to me to sort this out. None but alone. Great. Yes, I, I totally rec recognize this as the Tojo clan. You know, the, the former Tojo clan. The gates, and there's the walkway up to the main door, and they all used to line up out there. I totally remember that. So now the Siryu clan have bought it and are using it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, what am I doing now that I'm not going to play Tekken anymore? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars Battlefront Collection comes out this Friday, so I'll be doing that for multiplayer. Hey, uh, good day to you. My name's Nanpa. I heard Sawashiro-san might be around. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, uh, you see, Sawashiro-san and I go way back. Uh, he actually paid for my trip to Hawaii the other day, so uh, I thought I'd swing by and say thanks. Nobody told me he was taking any appointments. Now kindly get gone. Oh, don't be like that. What's wrong with popping in and saying hello? Besides, eh, there's something important we need to ask him. Look, I can't let you through. And I already told you why. Oh, come on. Duh. Then how about you set me up a meeting with Ebina-san? You know, your captain? Why, <laughs> me and him were having a chat just the other day. All you gotta do is tell him Nanba's here. What part of no don't you understand? You're trying to get yourself killed, pal? Uh... I'm Narasaki, lieutenant of the Seiryu clan. What the hell? Seems here there was a slight misunderstanding. Allow me to set things straight. Masafumi Narasaki, Siryu Clan Lieutenant, he just kicked the shit out of that guy for no reason. Finally, someone who can talk some sense. <laughs> I have instructions from Captain Ebina. You're all to be welcomed as our guests. He also said there's no need to ask your name. Uh, he knows who they are. Really, Narasaki-san? You're gonna take him in? They say the newbies don't know jack shit, but I didn't think it was this bad. How could anyone not recognize you? Duh. I'd like to personally apologize for this dimwit. I want to talk to Sawashiro. Where is he? You'll see him soon enough. But first, please come in. Wow. <laughs> going to happen here no way. this is how they used to do it with the tojo <laughs> that's him a 
Allow me the pleasure of welcoming you. It's truly an honor. I am Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Didn't expect you to roll out the red carpet. My apologies if we caught you off guard. However, we felt it was necessary. After all, with the Tojo clan and the Omi alliance now gone, it falls on us to become the banner for Yakuza all over the country. Such a task requires the utmost prestige. It's perhaps the only way to bring them all together. <laughs> right. So line up the troops and have them stare down your guests. That's your idea of prestige. <sighs> You'll have to forgive us. Well, there's little use in standing around out here. Captain Ebina is waiting for you inside. If you follow Narasaki, he'll lead you straight to him. I don't need a guide. <laughs> is that right? So your mind's still intact, huh? Glad to hear at least that's still worth a damn. I'm sorry, what? Do you know who you're talking to? Hey, take it easy, Sachan. We can keep this up if you really want to. <laughs> but fair warning. If you're just testing your luck, pick another day. I don't have time for games. Now we walk incredibly slowly for dramatic effect. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. So we're going to talk about that dirtbag in the shades. Oh yeah. I think his name's Narasaki. Cocky guys like him come with the territory. Eh, don't let it get to you. Easy for you to say. I was ready to go to war. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm glad you got my back. Mm. So this is the Tojo clan headquarters? Er, was I mean? Yup. Many fights have happened in here in the Yakuza series. I remember throwing people off that balcony right there. First time for me too. Crazy I'm actually here. You know, this almost reminds me of the inside of the diet building. I went there on a field trip back in grade school. Ah. You're seeing a Yakuza HQ and the Japanese government look similar? Bold comparisons. Hey, I wasn't trying to make a point. Just saying that what I felt. They're both official feeling. Well, whatever they are, just remember that this isn't a field trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got swept up in the excitement. Abina's probably waiting for us in the meeting room. It's upstairs. Hey, it's your neck of the woods. By all means, lead the way. All right. Now, do we? is it linear? Do we have to do that? Or can you, like, check stuff out? Look, there's, like, doors. Right? So, they want me to go upstairs, right? Yeah. So, let's go through these doors. Like, what's through here? Look at this. Wow, this place is huge. Guess this is for banquets and the like, huh? Uh-huh. Well, I don't know all the details, but they have held funerals for some of the past chairmen here. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah? Now that you mention it, it does seem to have that vibe. Yeah, at least two took place here. Though, I guess one did turn out to be fake. Hmm? Did you say fake? They faked the chairman's funeral? Yeah. <laughs> I've actually heard rumors about that. Huh. I knew schemes were, given, uh, were a given in the Tojo clan, but I never thought that they'd go that far. Man, now I gotta know more. Tell us the story later. <laughs> okay, well, I'll come up to it. All right. Whew. Well, are there any fights or anything in here? No, and you can't go through these doors. So it's just a little Easter egg scene, basically, for coming in here. We gonna fight some more? I mean, the Yakuza games have been around for so long at this point that I'm sure, like, you've probably been in this place, like, four or five times, right? During the course of the games. Look. Look. Pretty big vase there. Something catch your eye? Oh, oh you're gonna appraise it first, Kiryu-san? All right, give us a number. No. Uh, no, I just figured I could use it in a pinch. What? The whole kind of pinch do you have in mind? Coming here was never all that straightforward. It's a force of habit. Ho -ho. Danger around every corner. I guess you still got it, Kiryu-san. Hmm. Was that a compliment? <laughs> do I remember when Kiryu jumped through a window and had to fight his way out after Kazama almost got assassinated? I, I remember... Oh my god. I remember fighting in this hallway and throwing people over the railing, and, like, something came crashing down to dodge or something like that. I remember that. 
but I don't specifically remember what you're talking about, No Dark Gaming. Um, oh. Seems like they take good care of them. <clears throat> These flowers are pretty expensive, too. Oh. How can you tell? We have little displays like this back at the club. Still, there's no way that we could even spend this much. <laughs> Didn't know that you liked flowers, Kiryu-san. Kind of surprised, honestly. No. Oh, well, I thought that I'd make good cover if they start shooting. <laughs> so much for being surprised. <laughs> Always thinking one step ahead. Uh, you're as impressive as ever. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> ah. And then he walked nuts first into the, <laughs> into the railing. Excuse me. Kiryu-san used to be a chairman for the Tojo clan, right? Just for a short while. I quit pretty soon after. Short term in office, huh? Any reason? I mean, if we're talking the Yakuza, chairman of the Tojo clan, like the creme de la creme of promotions, right? Ho -ho. Actually, yeah, I've wondered about that too. Right. Oh, sure. Well, guess when I was younger, I did dream of a rich, well-off life. But then, well, I found something much more important than that. As to whether or not I made the right choice, well, that's hard to say. Oh, you think you're, you'll regret it? I don't know. Excuse me. You know, even if the past is weighing you down, you've always got today. Just have to tell yourself that the choices you made along the way were the right ones. Nanchan. <laughs> Besides, there's no guarantee what's happening now as a result of all that. Seriously. And hey, if you ever need an ear, I'm here, all right? <laughs> I even helped set up Ichiban's first date. Friendly advice is my specialty. Uh, wouldn't that prove the opposite? <laughs> Thanks. When that kind comes, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, that date went so well, right? Oh, uh, good evening, Rush fan. How are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Door's there. You think there's anything this way? Oh. <laughs> the most generic painting ever. Huh. That's one fancy painting. You know anything about this one, Kiryu-san? No. No. Couldn't tell you. Oh, wow. It's a famous piece by Motard von Egmont from Germany. Supposedly. He was influenced by Rembrandt, though he typically only painted landscapes in his lifetime. Huh? Huh? Sachan, you, you some kind of art critic or something? Hey, customers will talk to you about pretty much anything, you know? Mm -hmm. Helps to be well-rounded in my line of work. I see. Well, it's impressive either way. <laughs> no problem, Derek. Uh, Vietnamese comrade. Uh, yes, no rest in peace so to Akira far. Toriyama, who recently passed away. Akira Toriyama, I would think. Even Toriyama probably had influence on this series, no? A couple of the characters. I mean, take a look at, at, at Kiryu. He pretty much looks similar to Kazuya, who looks very similar to, say, like, Vegeta, I would say. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Slayer, please email me about that. I mean, I mean, I understand that you're interested, but I want to play the game tonight and not talk about that stuff that's just between you and me tonight. All right? <clears throat> Is this the meeting room? No. No, not here. Just talking, to, taking a minute to reminisce. Excuse me? Special memories or something? Actually, I once jumped through the glass over there. <laughs> Can you recreate that moment? Hmm. Shouldn't have asked. To... So this is blocked. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, look at this. This is where we smash your mm. head into the books. What's up with this bookshelf? Who's to say? Maybe they're trying to look smart? Well, if that's the case, shouldn't they get rid of that? Yes. Agreed. What, a giant golden calf's head? What's wrong with that? <laughs> All right, this is where we're going. Uh, we're here. Mm. Abina, huh? You know, last time that we spoke, I thought maybe we could actually trust them. It's you. The situation called for it. Just don't let your guard down. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, good evening to Jessica. Uh, excuse me. Sorry about the belch. Kevin, thanks for <laughs> continuing your membership. Well, Appreciate now. that. Maybe I should have led you here after all. I was starting to think you got lost. Shut your mouth. <laughs> if I needed you around, I'd have said so. Slap this guy around. <laughs> the Tojo clan's fourth chairman. <laughs> I can only assume you don't care much for what we've done with the place. However, you should know this building was all but left to rot. 
We took it upon ourselves to restore it. It looks exactly the same as it did before. I what are you talking about? Abina. I am. And I presume you're familiar with Sawashiro-san? No, who's yeah. that? Although, I've never seen him with the same pin twice. <laughs> you're supposed to be behind bars. But I see that's not the case. I'm flattered you've heard of me. It's quite an honor, Kiryu-san. Go on. Take a seat. <laughs> Kiryu-san? I can only hope you're willing to talk. But maybe you ought to find a different chair first. What? Uh huh? Excuse you? <clears throat> That chair belongs to the head of the Tojo clan, and no one else. Nah. Take my word for it. A lot of blood's been spilled over just the chance to sit where you are now. Maybe you don't mean any offense, but you're not even close to earning that spot. And I'll be damned if I play along. Bastard! You better watch your fucking words! It's all right, Narasaki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Captain. This was to be expected. In fact, I'd want nothing less from a man of his stature. So he sits in a little kitty high Let's chair in the corner again. with a little sippy cup. <laughs> Please, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> now then. Shall we get started, Kiryu-san? Actually, I'm just fucking with you. That's the comfiest chair in the room. It's mine now, I dumbass. see the Seryu clan's grown quite big. With all the Yakuza I left behind, it's no surprise. And your goal is to help them along? Yes. As I'm sure you're aware, the civilian world is... Far from forgiving to our kind. Okay, but what about all those people who were able to make it, yet you pulled them right back in? Sunhee here has plenty of data to back that up. Perhaps that data's oversimplified. There's rarely, if ever, a smooth transition back to society. What a Yakuza needs more than anything is structure, stability, and the means to make a living. So for them to join our clan is a temporary measure on that road to rehabilitation. Want to know what else I hear? That you're moving operations to Hawaii. You have keen ears. Queen of the Komi Jewel, indeed. At any rate, you could say we're blessed to have a business partner there. Hmm. Business partner? Wonder who it could possibly be. Not sure if you would know, Kiryu-san. Our biggest source of income right now is storing waste that can't be disposed of. However, I can't take any credit for that idea. Someone else had thought it up, and they'd been doing it in Hawaii long before I met them. So it's chemical waste? Like, like, maybe radioactive or, or like, you know, like a chemical acid wash, stuff like that, stuff that you're not supposed to put into the water, and you're also not supposed to, like, throw, you can't throw it out. Like, what do you do with it? You have to store it, right? Hmm. Interesting. That would be Palekana, a local There you go, store. we knew it. What? Palekana? They're also the ones who helped Akane-san escape to Hawaii 40 years ago. I take it you've already heard of them. You could say that. If I can step back a moment. I needed Sawashiro's reputation in order to set the second great dissolution into motion. And while he was still behind bars, he confided in me one of his deepest regrets. That was, of course, about Akane-san. As such, the more I learned, the more interest I developed in the group that brought her to safety. And as I dug deeper, I learned about their waste management business. There's a special island Palakana owns where they run a facility quite similar to ours. You must mean Nele Island. Is that where Palakana stores its garbage? That's right. And when I reached out to them, they were extremely generous with their knowledge. They understood our objective as cleansing the sins of society. <laughs> and even offered to take in former Yakuza on our behalf. 
So you're saying all the fresh new faces in the Seiryu clan are getting sent to Nele Island? Correct. Everything that's happening in our Yokohama warehouse is simply a precursor to that. Right now, our joint venture with Palikana is our top priority. But I thought Nele Island was sacred to them. I hear only a select few of their followers are allowed to set foot there. Yet you plan to dump your Yakuza on their shores? I see you've done your homework. But yes, we've already worked out the details together. Besides, all our men will be doing is transporting the cargo by sea and unloading it off the boat. So wait, they're transporting waste from Japan to Hawaii? Weird. I mean, obviously they must be doing this behind the scenes of like the government knowing that because I'm sure there's a zillion regulations against that and I'm sure the government wouldn't be too happy if they found out about this. As it were, they'd hardly be leaving footprints in the sand. A far cry from desecrating their holy land, wouldn't you say? Polykana understands this as well. Never guessed religion and the underworld would ever go hand in hand. Aside from that, why'd you send Kasuga over to Hawaii? I sent Ichi to Hawaii for one thing. To reunite with Akane-san, who said she wanted to meet him. So whatever becomes of it, it's got nothing to do with the Seriyu clan. Sawashiro. Are you aware of what's happening to Akane-san right now? Hmm. What do you mean? She's being hunted down by gangsters, all on Polykana's orders. But their real target is the girl she has with her. And if they're caught, they won't make it out alive. Impossible. <laughs> is that true, what you just said? I take it neither of you knew. I can assure you we did our due diligence in researching them. After all, they're integral to the Second Great Dissolution. So you're saying we're making this up? I'm saying flinging words at each other would be pointless. Do you have any proof you can show us? Oh, I got some proof right here. It's a, oh, there it is. I like that. That said, <laughs> this is coming from none other than Kiryu-san. We don't mean to make light of that. How about you give us some time? We'll look into Polykana once again. What would you do if Polykana turns out just like what I told you? I'd rather not make any speculations at the moment. As the Tojo Clan fourth chairman, I'm sure you, of all people, understand the weight of a Yakuza's words. I see. And if that's your stance, I think we're done here. Thank you for the visit, and for the valuable information. Perhaps when things settle down, we can treat you to dinner. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's hope that's possible. All right. I don't know where this is going, though. Right? We don't really even learn well, that much. Well, we sure show their asses. Yeah, right. Can't believe you got Sawashiro acting on his best behavior. Seriously? And even though we were deep in Yakuza territory, I didn't feel scared one bit. I don't know. Doesn't feel like we got much exactly. out of it. Exactly. What did you get out of it? No. But didn't we at least learn that the Seiryu clan's connected to Palekana? <sighs> right. But we're still left to wonder whether Abina really knows what Bryce is up to. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. I suppose. Alright. Well, sadly, not much came out of that. What's next? By the way, you think of anything else for the bucket list? You didn't forget about it, did you? No, I remember. And you know what? Maybe it's because I haven't been to HQ in a while. But I just thought of something important. Oh, what is it? Well, it might not be the fun activity you were thinking, hmm. but I want to pay my respects to some people who were close to me. Hmm. You know, I think that's terrific. Mind if we come along? Yes, that's incredibly intrusive. <laughs> I'd be grateful if you did. Oh, never mind. Might get a little gloomy without some company. I'm happy to hear you think of us that way. We'll do everything we can to support you, Kiryu-san. I know you will. Thanks. Then let's go. I trust you know the way. 
Yeah, let's catch a taxi. So we're going somewhere else in a taxi now. Okay. Now that it's daytime, nothing new has opened up yet, right? No. All right, let's just do it again. Let's do the next leg. It sounds like we're going to unlock a bunch of things here. Remember, stretching is important. So let's do this. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed. So when we were at the former Tojo HQ, HQ now the Seryu Clan HQ, did you notice that it said that area was was like maximum risk? Like it had all the 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 warning level was filled. I think that's a spoiler. And it's a spoiler that we're going back there later to fight. And it's going to be like the end of the game. And that's why it's like maxed out threat level. I wonder why they had that. Because there's no fighting there. So why did they have the threat level on the screen? I, I think that was actually an oversight. <clears throat> that's true. Namba scene is on Sunrise Bridge during the day. Okay, we should do that next. Thank you for reminding me. Yumi Sawamura. Rush fan, thanks for gifting a membership. Shintaro Kazama. Thank, congrats, Andrew, on getting the gifted membership. Incense. Sorry to drag you all out here. Let's say we head back. You're all done? Yeah. I managed to clean up their gravestones and talk to them a bit about my life. If I can ask... Who were these people? Well, they're... my family. Of course, none of us are blood-related, but... it's never been about that. And it doesn't make them any less precious. Every time I come here, I... get this strange feeling. I've always been the type to rush in and never think ahead. So I assumed if anyone was going to die first, it'd be me. Yet here I am now, talking to them, even though they're long gone. Here you, son. I come to pay my respects for the first time in forever, and who do I see? Look who it is. <laughs> Almost like the detective. Kazuma himself had a hand in it. Huh. Dante, son. I haven't seen him in a few games, Long I think. Long time no see. <laughs> Gonna guess your buddy's there is safe. Oh, yeah. An acquaintance of yours, Kiryu-san? Wait, doesn't this mean your cover's blown? <laughs> no. He's good. If anyone's aware of anything, it's him. I take it you must be Detective Date? And that would make you Sunhee, the so-called face of Ijincho. Never could stay away from trouble, could you? <laughs> I think we'll be heading back, curious son. You look like you got some catching up to do. Appreciate that. Hey, no worries. You fellas enjoy. Sorry, didn't mean to scare off your new pals. But hey, what are the chances? I say we catch up on old times. That is, if you've got time. Sure. For some reason, Date never ages. He looks the same as he did, like, in the early games, too. He always it's looked so this way. Since the two of us have had a sip, I figured it ought to be Their here. old bar hangout. And speaking of a sip, that one's all you get. Meanwhile, I'll be helping myself to the bar. Greedy old drunk. You sure Mama won't mind? <laughs> Just so happens today's her day off. Then I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks. I find it funny that they're all telling uh, Kiryu he can't drink because he's sick, because he has cancer. And it's like, but he's chosen not to accept treatment. So if he's chosen not to accept treatment, maybe he just wants to go out with a bang. I mean, he's doing a bucket list, right? So why not let him drink? I mean, you know, but then again, I think what it is is everyone around him actually is like, no, we're going to eventually convince him to get treatment, right? Like, that's what it seems like the plot is getting to. I guess we'll have to see by the end of the game. You're getting thin. <clears throat> I admit that caught me off guard. Really? You can tell that easy, huh? Well, yeah. When it comes to studying you, I hold a Guinness World Record. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is it that bad? Yeah. And when the doctor found out I was running around like this, he nearly burst the vessel. Let me guess. More nonsense from the Daidoji faction. 
In Hawaii, there was a girl who reminded me of Haruka. Her name's Lani. She's just an innocent kid. Yet here she is, running for her life. All for some asshole's convenience. I can't help but want to save her. The whole time tonight, I had my sound plugged into the wrong thing. So I didn't have surround sound and it didn't sound right. And I, I just couldn't put my finger on what it was. I looked down and I'm like, oh, I'm not plugged into my controller. Oops. Oopsie. Sounds like something you'd say. Always putting your neck out for others, aren't you? Well, the clock ticking, I'm supposed to be enjoying my final moments. <clears throat> At least according to Namba and them. Sure. You've never been the type to look after yourself. Well, there's been a lot on my mind. Now that it's come to this. Looking back, I almost didn't make it. When Nishiki and Yumi died, I thought, if only I could go with them. But what stopped me in the end was actually something you told me. I said something that important? Nah. You know damn well you did. Don't you have someone precious to protect? I figured that must be what's pushing me still. In that case, you can't clock out just yet. After all, you want to protect that kid, right? Yeah. Then now's the time you get back your gusto. Still free to stick around a while? Come on. How long has it been? I'm sticking around whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. I hope we get some developments here. I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of plot advancement, but not much has happened. It's like a half an hour. Welcome back, curious son. Hey, how much were you drinking? Not much. I only had one glass. So was everything okay with your friend? Yeah. What's more, we agreed to meet up every now and again, like back in the day. Hope that's all right. Absolutely of not. It is. Just don't go overboard with the booze, okay? Yeah, I know. You sure about that? I don't want to find you passed out somewhere. I see you're not going to go easy on me. Fine. You have my word. Well, that's that. We should head back to Kasuga's apartment today. But now it's nighttime again, so we can't do the link. We can't do the special scene with Namba. I didn't know that time was going to pass like that. That sucks. Can I open this? Come on. Should I open it? <laughs> it opened. Military armor. Armor that's good to repel knife attacks. Let's see here. Right now he's got protective wear, nullifies poison, cold, and burn. Oh. Yeah, it's overall it's better. I'm gonna put it on him. And then. These suck. The embroidered jackets suck. So let's give her the military armor. There you go. Wait. I'm being stupid. No, I want to put on the protective wear, which is going to nullify poison, cold, and burn. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Well, that sucks that uh, I couldn't do that. By the time you guys had mentioned it, just so you know, I had already... You guys are delayed by about, what, like 20 seconds or something on the stream? So I didn't realize that, and then uh, I advanced too far, and now I can't do it. we got to wait for the daytime again. If I, if I do the, the story one more time, will it be daytime? Because then I want to go do that. We're going to do stuff along the way, though. Let's, uh, let's go this way. Let's head south. And do some things along the way. Natural. Ugh. Yes, I will say this. I know that you guys in chat like to talk, but please... You know, a lot of people are in there, like, hearing super personal stories and stuff. And it's like, it's nothing to do with the game or the stream. And I understand, like, you know... You're hanging out, but at the same time, like... I don't think people really need to know about this incredibly, like, personal, private little stuff. Uh, publicly, you know what I'm saying? Like some people might be uncomfortable seeing that. So, let's do it. Okay. You want to you want? What? Akira was a goat that was straight disrespect. When did I disrespect Akira Toriyama? Huh? What's the hold up? What are you talking about? I never disrespected Akira Toriyama. I did a very respectful tribute to him the other day on the show. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think some people are sadly mistaken. 
someone says, oh, I canceled my, one of my memberships because you were so disrespectful to Akira Toriyama. He's the GOAT. Huh? I literally did a giant segment, you know, talking about how awesomely influential he is in the United States and how I loved his work. Uh, I think you were watching another show. <laughs> really? I think you had, the, you had the wrong channel on. You thought it was me. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Let's continue. Here's some uh, reminiscing. The Sasaki building and inside is the Sasaki Ent Clinic. Oh, ENT Clinic? Ears, nose, and throat? Sasaki sounds familiar. The name Sasaki sticks out with me. Oh my god. Oh, uh, the weird dream I can't forget. Are they still referencing? Yeah, look, and this dream I was Miyamoto Musashi. I lived under an alias working for merchants in the red light districts of that time, even though I was Miyamoto Musashi. What game is this? I don't even know what game this is. This isn't even like a Dragonetian. This is something else. Right? Yeah, something about fighting off guys in Demon Mask. Is this a different spinoff I've never played? It must be, right? Yeah. That's nostalgic. Huh. I never played this one. Someone says I misspelled Toriyama's name somewhere. Did I? Hold on. If I did, I'll fix it. Here, let me look. Uh, it was obviously a mistake. Uh, wait. What happened there? Yeah, I did. Look at that. It's a typo. It's it's a Y. Here we go. It's supposed to be Toriyama, right? T-O-R-I-Y-A-M-A. -A. Whoops. Okay, I fixed it. Thank you for telling me. I didn't even notice that. Here we go. Fixed. Sorry about that. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, that was an easy fix. <clears throat> yeah. That's the game before Ishin. There was a different spinoff. I didn't even know there was another different spinoff. Oh, okay. You know, once the sense, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. At all. Really, I have no clue what you're speaking of. Yeah. I don't know what you think. I've literally never been disrespectful to Akira Toriyama. I think he's an amazing creator. He's incredibly influential worldwide. I did a giant, no exaggeration, like a half an hour tribute to him the other day about how influential he's been to me and others in the United States. So I, I don't even know what you're talking about or where you're coming from, dude. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's continue. And uh, I mean, we just mentioned Toriyama tonight. The joke about an RPG as his last game, maybe I was wrong. What? What are you talking? There was no joke about an RPG being his last game. What are you talking about? Huh? Are you watching? All right, I'm going to be honest. Are you watching the tractor content? Can you stop? Because now I'm starting to get upset. Because you're saying things that I've oh, always disrespectful to someone who I have incredible amounts of respect for. And I'm incredibly sad that we lost. And that's not going to fly here. So if this is because you watched some stupid video, I'm going to tell you right now, cut the shit out. Because now you're starting to piss me off. That better not be the case, dude. <laughs> uh, seriously. Here we go. Will his chat log expose him on stream? We mean like uh like uh Asmund Gold apparently did or something? If you guys say. Here we go. Did you really think you'd win? Got another safe key. Two safe keys out of that. <laughs> okay. I think he's talking about Sandland being his last game, and I said it's a shame. It's an RPG when you're playing too many RPGs right now. How? What does that have to do? How is it an insult to Toriyama? I'm in good shape. I'm, <laughs> what? <laughs> Now I'm really lost. At this point, I think we're going to stop talking about it because it just sounds so incredibly fucking stupid that I just don't want to waste time on it anymore. Really. Okay. Yikes. It's my turn. Moon. Try to block this. How I'm fighting like level 30s now. Yeah. Handle them pretty easily, right? Allow me. Man, they, they moved away. Uh, okay, I can hit, kill these, kill these two. Damn, he didn't die, the mafioso. Chinese mafioso, he's on fire there. 
We're gonna break his uh, his guard, but I don't think we have anything to break it. He didn't die. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Right. Darn. Playful splash. Blast enemies with a water gun. Reducing resistance to electricity and maybe give them a cold. Eh, it sucks. He's at, uh, he has guard, so until we can break the guard, we're not going to be able to really do much. <laughs> Let's do it. Does she have a guard breaker? Yes, here it is. Nice. Carnivorous feast. He eats a comically large piece of caveman meat. <laughs> Very good. Follow my lead. Let's see. Uh, I'll just shoot him. Okay. Here we go. Nice follow up. One more shot. Finish him. Oh, very nice. Of my time. There were two Feudal Japan game spinoffs. One Ishin was remade. The other one wasn't. It was set 300 years before Ishin. I did not even know that there was another spinoff. Wow. Oh, well, you learn something every day. Hell yeah. All right, very good. All right, continuing on, because we're heading down there. We have a couple conversations we can do along the way. No chests or anything? No. What kind of weapons does this guy sell? Flying sabers? Not for anyone. I wonder what class that's for. Needles? That's obviously for, uh... Say, say, I forgot her name again. I can't remember her name. The new character. The new female character. I can't remember her name. That's obviously for her. Modern Revolver. Hmm. It's slightly better than what he's got. I don't know if it could be, uh, modified, though. It's not worth buying if it can't be modified. Right? It's only an 11 increase. Zaijun? Zaijun, right? That's her name? I can't remember her name. <laughs> Why can't I remember her name? Where? Where's her name? It's not even on the character. What the heck? Here we go. Soon He. Why can't I remember her name? I seriously, I cannot remember her name at all. Soon He. I remember everybody else. I can't remember Soon He. Oh, I'm having brain farts here. Soon He. All right, well, we're not using that class. I, I won't buy anything here. Because uh, I'm not sure if we can upgrade that, so I'm not gonna, I don't think it's worth the money. Okay, we're heading to two conversations. Ventboxer says, you, you told us to remind you about the free premium and prime memberships. Free premium prime memberships? You mean the free YouTube memberships? It has nothing to do with Prime. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Amazon Prime. If that's what you mean, thank you. Uh, but I think what we're going to do, we're going to do it uh, when a new game comes out. So either when I play Star Wars on Friday or uh, when I play Rise of the Rhone. And one of those days, I'll probably give them out. So, what's How is it pronounced? Sun, like Sunni? Like, it's supposed to be like Sunny? Like Sunni? That's how you say your name? Sunni? Okay. What was I doing? Hey, the vintage oh. theater closed down. I know. I was pretty fond of it. Oh, this one? They really knew their stuff. Yeah, look. Yeah, I would go in too. Picture perfect. Oh, I interrupted the conversation. Oh, hey, the vintage theater closed down. I know. I was pretty fond of it. They really knew their stuff. Yeah, I would go there too. That's too bad. Their three month long sharks on screen extravaganza challenge was great. Must have been some challenge. You're telling me there's enough shark movies to last three months? Uh, sure are. I'd never joke about sharks. Huh. Noted. Must be hard to sift through all of them. Any recommendations? A more recent one's got evil Martian sharks battling Earth sharks in New York. Classic setup, but God. really enjoyable nonetheless. Define classic. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff out there now. Yeah. Maybe too much. Too much junk. A new one just premiered where the sharks were actually in the water. The audience went nuts. Uh, define shark. Well, we got a good bond up there. That's good. 
Dabhan says, not surprising you didn't hear about the other spinoff. It was uh, basically like a PSP exclusive. Seriously? Well, then I definitely know why I didn't hear of it. Okay, there's a conversation across the street right over here. Here it is. Oh, I really need to make a reservation at the salon soon, but... What's wrong? You don't want to go? No, it's not that. It's just that it's so expensive. Sure. My hair is starting to curl up again, and straightening costs a fortune. Straightening? I didn't think you had curls, Saika. I do. And getting ready in the morning's really starting to drag. Your hair is pretty straight, Kiryu-san. Ever thought about getting a perm? A perm? <laughs> well, maybe if the occasion called for it. Really? <laughs> I would love to see your hair blown up like that. I, uh... I think I've had enough explosions in my life. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, Derek, I don't know what your question was unless I scroll up. Hold on. Uh, uh. Did I get a new weapon for Sayako? Yeah, she has that that uh flame microphone. We had found it somewhere. Um. Oh, Ben Boxer says no. Remember, apparently YouTube is doing a thing. That if you become a YouTube Premium subscriber, you'll get a free membership to someone's channel for the first month. I forgot about that because we had just discovered that supposedly at the end of like the last, the end of the streaming week. Oh, so this place gives you I have to remember that. If you use contactless payment. Yeah, that's true. Contactless. I've heard of that, but I don't know too much about it. You put money into a smartphone app and pay through that. You can do all your shopping with just your phone, oh, and you usually get Oh points. shit! No, 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 no! I need a conversation. The only problem is not every store takes the same type, so I've loaded up eight different brands to be safe. Oh my god! Yeah. You sure handy's the right word? Things are going well. No, that's true. If you have to do eight different brands to make sure you have the right payment app for each store you go to, then it's not handy at all. It's just a pain in the ass. And sadly, that's how a lot of those things are. Okay, so next read over, we got one of these rescue missions, and then we'll probably advance the plot, and hopefully we'll go to daytime. We can do the Namba link. Because hopefully that'll get his friendship way up. We need to get it to 50. I think he's at 30 or 40 now. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Uh, do I even have to say anything? Voltaic Whip. Give me a short line of enemies a dominating crack of stock whip. A chance to cause paralysis. What the fuck? Hold on. Oh, come on, stop moving. Here we go. Let's try this. Oh, what the hell? She ran past them. It looked cool, but it missed half the people. Do I really have to say a word about what about the lasso? Look at this. <laughs> what the hell, dude? What's the hold up? Alright, we're prison. We'll skip this elaborate animation. Boom. Here we go. Oh, I didn't combo. I thought she would push him into him and knock him back down. Look at the size of the hot dog he has. A chomp and charger. Oh, I didn't even know there was a guy behind me. I had no idea there was a guy there. Feel the meat. No, he wagged his meat ludishly. It's disgusting. Meteor cane. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, I think whoever, I'm gonna kill this one. Here we go. Taco. I won't push that one. There we go. Yeah. Now, what's this guy's weakness? A restless otaku. A restless. It's fire. Oh. I'm not even gonna waste a lot of MP. I'll just like the base, the baseline one. Ooh yeah! Oh, giant damage. Beautiful. Right. Cool. Do I think Kat will be back for future streams? Yes, I do. I don't know when they will be or what they will be, but I think she'll be back. She would like to come back to this right now. We don't really have anything to do. And I'm already backlogged on the stuff I'm doing, so we don't really have time to... Make, oh, let's have a filler stream tonight or something. Like, we don't really have time for that. You know what I'm saying? The main way to increase bond is mainly by fighting in battles and eating at restaurants after you finish. Ah, let's do that. Why not do this? Let's go here, and then we'll go to the store. Right? Let's do that.
Do, 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 do. We're gonna buy every piece of food. Oh my god, that's a lot. I'm gonna stuff it. Let's dig in. Let's Man, I love me some takoyaki. Mm. Time to dig in. Yeah, you gotta be careful, Taki. I can burn your tongue. Real bad. All I could think about was eating the takoyaki. I've literally burned my tongue badly on takoyaki before. I have. I totally forgot that it's piping hot. Oh no! The takoyaki from this place is so well cooked that the insides retain their heat even when the outside cools off a little. That's how you know it's the best. I just love the crispy outside paired with the tender filling. Ah, yeah. Ah, I know. <laughs> uh, maybe swallow first. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I got carried away. But you know, it really feels like a slice of heaven to just down a highball after scarfing down some great takoyaki. Yeah, they really elevate each other. I get how you could lose yourself in it, Namba. And takoyaki goes well with almost any topping. Oh, I want to try them all. Got any recommendations, Sunhi? Hi. Hi, a totally holy cheese. She did it too. Cheese cheeks are a perfect match. Oh, jeez. Not you. <laughs> all right, cool. Bond level up. Actually, he's at 39 right now. We got all these bonuses. Nice. I've only had takoyaki with a, like a, uh, almost like a shoyu sauce on top, and like, uh, those, what do they call it, the a flaked salmon flakes that are smoked, I forget what that's called, there's a word for it, I've had it with that on top, that, there's, it's a local ramen place nearby that serves takoyaki, and we, uh, Kat and I have had it there a few times, and we really like it. It's the only takoyaki I've ever had, oh, we have a boss fight, well, let's try it, let's save and try this boss fight. Here we go. Bonito Flakes. Thank you, Slayer. They're called Bonito Flakes. That is correct. Look at this guy. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's one of the guys. The super defensive dudes. Yeah. I feel so heavy. I'm not backing down. Try to block this. Here's a Oh, I only hit the one. He almost died, though. Worse. I'm just gonna go right for Pyro Prison. Boosh! Well, that worked. <laughs> that was quite effective. Fujimoto. So, what was he weak to? Fire? Fire. So, I'm gonna hit him with the dynamite. Ready for the knockout. Need a light? Game is almost dead already. Try and stop me. Smash that. Let's finish him then. Try this on the side. No, he didn't die. Seriously. Oh, he didn't die. There's a tiny bit left. This is no way to fight him. I don't think you can fight him right now. Yeah. I don't think we can fight him right now. All right. Instead. They're all resistant to guns, huh? Uh. They're resistant to stabs, too. They're resistant to everything. Okay, here we go. You're looking bright. Got him. Nice. I did tons of damage. Even with his armor up. What happened? Auto on? I put auto on by accident. Hope you're ready. Here. Thanks. Oh, good. Much better. You're going to no, I've accidentally turned it on, I guess. What happened? Here. Thanks. Why are they all doing this? No. I'm confused. <laughs> I think I hit the trigger by accident. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, stop spinning. Okay, I got control back. They're all freaking resistant to everything. Ready for the knockout. Need a light? Well, they took lots of damage. Now we're There we go. That was easy. That was an easy one. They weren't very challenging at all. Oh, some good leveling. Alright. Poetry Unbound. Every day. Level up. There's Rank up. Rank from. up. Cool. 
Didn't really get anything for it though. The poetry Unbound is just like a, a, a... Poetry Unbound, hold on. Is that a leveling item for a certain class? I should just look it up, huh? Because I don't know who it's for. Not for her. Oh, it is? Wait. Oh, just nullify silence. Oh, it's shitty. <laughs> I thought it was the, the class-specific leveling item. It's a shitty item. Alright. Let's advance the plot a little further. Hopefully it'll go daytime. And then we'll be able to do Namba's link uh, uh, special thing on the stairs. On the stairs. On the bridge. Maybe that'll even give us something new. Something special. I don't know. Here we go. I have some time today. Maybe I can focus on some things I want to do. Stroll around town. There we go. Let's go do the Namba link on the bridge, right? Hello? Here are you. Date here. It's Date. Date-san. I'm in a jean show at the moment. Come out with me. We should talk. Don't try making out like you're too busy. Uh, is this important? <laughs> no. That bucket list thing you were telling me about before. I've been mulling it over ever is since. Is he going to add something to it? Got me thinking. I have too much unfinished business myself. Uh, if I can be of some help, I'll come. There we go. See you soon. So him and Dot are going to do stuff need? together? Rose Blossom. The Cabaret Club. I'll tell the bar to accept Great, they're going to a cabaret club of right, all places. I'll be waiting. The place he's not supposed to go because he's going to want to drink, right? Like, literally, he's going to want to drink. Yeah. Thank you, Han Solo989. Just gifted a membership to the community and it went to Demolition Daddy. Congrats, Demolition Daddy, and thank you, uh, Han Solo. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Where was the bridge that has the mission? We saw it, right? Wasn't it Sunshine? Here it is. Let's do this right now. Let's do this now. Once this is done, then we will split the part. But I want to do this now. I love a, a nice, nasty crawfish right now. What the hell? Uh, I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> this is where Namba wanted to talk, isn't it? All right, here we go. Hopefully this will give him some some friendship uh, boost because I want to give him the fifty. Just another bridge over a dirty river. It's more than that to me, though. Yeah. Well, I think anything can hold sentimental value depending on what it means to you. I've spent a lot of time just standing here, watching garbage float down river. To this is where the camp was in the first I game. I do that. It's like I'm seeing time go by, and it keeps going. No matter what. It's almost telling me, don't waste your time feeling down. <laughs> I have to keep looking forward. This too shall pass. It's a good lesson to learn. Even from garbage, Nanba. I'm being serious here. Come on. I've been all the way to Hawaii now, but this spot still means the most to me. Ichiban and I met near here too. So, I thought it was only right to share it with you as well. Namba. Thank you for like floating down the river too. Let me return the favor. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate what this means to you. And I'm humble that you'd take me here. Well, nobody ever said that being my friend's a rewarding investment. You throw him in the river? At least we can afford it. You said the right thing? Like this. <laughs> oh, hey. Why don't we take a picture together? To remember today. I doubt I'm likely to forget this, but all right, let's. <laughs> the river of shit. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're a good friend, curious son. You too, Namba. I'm counting on you. A photo with Namba is added to the Bond bingo screen. Oh, wow, here we go. Whoa, that's great. It gained five levels. We only need five more now to get Chef. That was superb. 
That was exactly what we needed, right? All right, let's save. And then we have things to do around here right near us, so we'll do them. And, uh... And then I guess we're going to continue on. I don't know if we should continue with the story right now. I don't know. I guess this is going to be a new kind of content I'm being told if we do the story. But let's save. And uh, th that was great. Five levels. I need five more, and then I get Chef with Namba, which is my goal. So, excellent. All right. Let's, uh, let's put the part here. This is a good place to split the part. I'll come back, and we'll continue on for tonight. Thanks, guys.